So this would be our military track witness tree right here. And you can see it's very large in size. And the height is about 120 feet. And we're estimating an age of over 400 years. And there's some way of telling them that the tree is very old. Is that if you look up at it, the, the trunk tends to twist a little bit. That spiral grain is a sign of age. And also it maintains a very large diameter from a long way up well up into the crown of the tree and the crown is composed of very gnarled twisted old branches so that's that's one indication of age and this shaggy bark that you've seen too is to some extent an indication of age as well this is one of the scars and there's another scar on the other side of the tree it's even bigger than that one so we're thinking this is the other scar we're thinking that this tree was, uh, these scars date from about 1790 or so. When the military track surveyor came through here. And basically, basically barred these trees to indicate the lot, a boundary on one of the military track lots. Which were to be, which were granted to the Revolutionary War veterans. They could have been 200 years old at the time. That gives us a possible date of 1590. Which is back to the time of Shakespeare. So this tree could have been, this is just speculation, I'm not saying absolute, we don't really know, could have been about 30 years old when the uh, pilgrims landed on, landed on the Mayflower in Plymouth in 1620. And my diameter, 55.2 inches. Diameter, that's straight through the tree. And circumference, 14.5 feet. That's the biggest tree in here.